a show of hands. Okay. All right. Who here has thought of an app idea, whether for fun or for within your businesses? By show of hands. All right, a few more. We've got some ideas. We've got some fingers. Okay, cool. I have two. Um, who here have, has actually built that app? Okay. Okay. Half life. <laughs> so why haven't you built the app? Uh, I've not enough time. Not enough time. Okay. That's very common. So not enough time. Not the know-how. The resources. Those are really common things that happen when you are trying to build an app when you may not have the background to code. And so that's exactly why Mendix was founded. So Mendix was founded because um, the challenge of building an app within an enterprise can be very difficult because business leaders and IT members don't speak the same language. So that's what Mendix is. Mendix is a platform where you can build applications without having to code. So it's in this market that's now called low code or rapid application development. So companies like ADP, Berkshire Hathaway, New Balance down the street, they are using Mendix to rapidly develop applications that's transforming their business. Um, so what I'd like to invite you all today, since most of you put up your hands to uh, um, thinking of an app, is I'd like to invite you, and you can do it right now, you won't offend me if you go on your phones, um, go to this link and you can actually sign up for free to start building an app on Mendix. Now, um, we did create this for you guys, for Boston New Tech. I do want to um, caveat that while you are so special for a community, we do always offer free access to our platform because we want to encourage business leaders, startup founders to get started in building an app. So you can build um, up to 10 apps and 10 users for free um, on, our, on our community. And actually, um, I didn't realize this, but since IBM is also a sponsor, we are the only low-code partner with IBM, so we have connectors to Bluemix, um, which enables some really cool things in IoT and blockchain um, when building apps. So while you're signing up, I'm just going to tell a quick story about one of our customers, and I thought that this would be really cool for this group. Um, so we work with um, this guy named Jonathan uh, down in New Orleans. Um, he's just a really savvy business guy. He started in events management. And he's grown a very successful business. So he's now putting on events like Lollapalooza, NFL Draft, and many others. And um, as he scaled his business a few years ago, he realized he needed custom technology solutions that would enable his team to better communicate when they're at these large events and communicating with customers. So he's a business guy who's worked in events. He does not have a technical background. And now, today, after a few years, he's built 12 apps on Mendix. Um, and so one of those apps, just to illustrate, this I think is just a really cool example. So his team puts on this festival called the Essence Festival. So tens of thousands of people come to this event. And what happened was, is the fire marshal said, once you hit capacity, we're going to have to shut it down, not allow anyone else to come in. Well, from a business perspective, they were missing out on ticket sales um, because more people wanted to come in. It was an all-day event. So what Jonathan and his team did is they created these turnstiles from the picture in the middle. So it has sensors, and it tracks people coming in and out of the event. That data is then uploaded to an app that he built in Mendix. So that's it, right on the show floor. Um, and every 60 seconds, the data is updated. So that way, the fire marshal is happy. They were able to keep track of where um, people were coming in and out. Um, and the other thing too, so while that had that immediate revenue impact of being able to sell more tickets, because as people left, then that gave the opportunity for more people to come in. But what they learned is that they were able to figure out which entrances had the most traffic, and then were able to increase sponsorship levels for any vendors in those high traffic areas. So while this was a simple application, they were able to actually collect much more data than they thought, and able to um, improve their customer relationship. Um, so there are many more examples. That was just one I wanted to share with you all. Um, and then I just want to leave you with this. Um, so we are hiring. Um, we are right across the street, 268 Summer Street. We're above the Dunkin' Donuts. Um, we have our team here, um, Tara, our recruiters in the back. Um, we're hiring in expert services. So if you're tech savvy, but also want to be customer facing and are interested in the business, 
Um, that would be a great team for you. Product marketing, sales, account executives, as well as our solution architects. So if you're very technical and would like to get involved in building applications on it, it's, um, there's a role for you. So thank you so much for having me. It was great to meet all of you. We're going to just pull questions to the end. I've got my team of Mendix folks in the back, so we're happy to um, network and answer questions at the end. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mendix.